reading Alvis Tenet here, The Way of Victory. Like, subscribe, and share to my YouTube page, The Way of Victory. 50 years of martial arts stories. I want to shout out to my son, Billion Dollar Visions. He's my tech man. He's my videographer. He's my son. I want to shout out to my man, Banky Pound, TBP, the Banky Pound team, Team Banky Pound. 33 years of prison. Banky Pound was in, in, inspirational in me setting up my own channel. Thank God I don't have 33 years of prison, but I've got 50 years of martial arts. Banky Pound talks about the horrors of prison and the hopes of dissuading our youth from going to prison. Check him out. Like, subscribe, and share his channel as well. Now, I want to talk to you today about, I, I think I told you last time we talked, I was going to talk to you about my, my, my son and my young champions. These kids, they were like second graders. And my, 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 my son, I, I actually, in, when he was six years old, I took him to a bondo tournament. And he, won, you had to be eight to go in the tournament, but I just lied, said he was eight, and put him in there. And uh, he actually did fantastic. He's very gifted, very talented, and was able to win at eight. And at about second grade, I guess about seven or eight years old, he became he became friends with a, a kid named Cole Eaton, and I started training both of them together. And Cole was very competitive, and my son was very competitive, and I used to have him sparring like I used to spar back when I was seven, 16, 17, man. They they used to, and they they were they were good. And so they, they sparred so hard with each other when I would take them to Mondo tournaments, they'd win first place uh, all the time in forms and fighting. And I was very proud of them from 2000, uh, probably 2002 to about 2006 or seven. They, 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 I, I really felt good about them. They were my project that we trained about two or three times a week and it was pretty hard training. Well, m mainly when they were in elementary school. Uh, once they got into middle school, my son kind of moved into basketball and, and Cole moved into football. So I didn't train them as much. My son has already told me, even though he's good at martial arts, he's really not, this is not really his thing. He really likes basketball better, so I graciously let him go. But uh, he did uh, do me a favor. <laughs> and came with me to a tournament in 2005 for some of the greatest fighting I've ever seen him do. Uh, and he barely trained at all. I mean, he was playing a lot of basketball, so his wind was up. But just the money in the bank in terms of his kicking and parrying and blocking and striking, he fought four kids in a row, all of them at least 20 pounds to 40 pounds heavier than he is, at least two to six inches taller than he is. And he won all four fights. It was an amazing thing. People were coming up congratulating me, telling me, man, you must have been working hard with your son. That, that little did they know. I, 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 I didn't work with him that hard because I didn't, want to, I didn't want him to quit on me if I put too much pressure on him. So I was taking it easy on him in terms of the training and hoping that he would just pull it off, which he did. And that's the last time he fought uh, for me and uh, it was a very, uh, a very rewarding time uh, with my son. Uh, he, he went on to play basketball at, a, at the collegiate level and, at, and was very, very good in, 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 at that. And now he's an entrepreneur with his own videography business. So I'm very proud of him. Uh, Cole is still a, a friend of mine. They, they're not uh, that, that close anymore, but uh, Cole is still, uh, I, I look at him like a second son, or at least a nephew. All right, so that that was that period, and so now we're up into um, 2006 or seven. Now, in between this time in 1999, I learned Tai Chi, and I learned I learned the, the short form, and I learned the Kong uh, Qigong. So I began to put that into my practice. Oh! 